Okay, what I want to do with this video is we're going to solve problems involving polynomials. But before we go directly to our problem, here are the steps that we're going to follow. Number one, of course, you have to read and understand the problem. You have to identify important concepts, yeah, mga math for math concepts and formula. Next is you have to illustrate. Do some illustrations, draw the figure para mas maramdaman mo kung ano ba yung hinahanap. The second one is you have to represent the unknown. Usually, we use X to represent the unknowns. We have to model the situation. That means we have to create a polynomial function or equation the situation. And um, you have to solve. Of course, if we have a polynomial equation, more or less, we're going to solve for the value of X using any of the techniques that we learned before. We will do the super synthetic division applying the theorem such as the factor theorem, the remainder theorem, the rational root theorem, at kung ano pa mga theorems na para matulungan tayo para masolve ang, ang values of x that will satisfy the equation. And then lastly, you have to check. You read the problem again and determine whether the values that you were able to come up are really the solutions of the problem. Let's have the first problem. Find the length of the edge of a cube if an increase of 6 cm in its length, an increase of 12 cm in its width, and a decrease of 4 cm in its height doubles the volume. So let's reading. The next step is to identify math concepts na involved in this uh, problem. Natin. Number one, there is a cube, and then binago yung dimensions ng cube. So you have an original cube, may volume yon, and then there is some modifications. Na in increase ng six centimeters yung length, dinagdagan ng twelve centimeters yung width, and then and then there's a decrease of four centimeters in the height. And then what happens is that the volume now doubles. The next thing we need to do, since alam na natin yung mga concepts na gagamitin natin, let's have some illustrations. Okay, so let x be the edge. Or let x be the length of the edge of the cube. So say for example, we have a cube here. Now the length of the edge is x centimeters. So this is x. X yung height, tapos yung width ay x then. And then we modify the cube. There is an, a 6 centimeter increase in length, an uh, increase of 12 centimeters in its width, but a decrease of 4 centimeters in, in, in the height. So say for example, this is our a modified cube. So, hindi na siya cube, prism na siya. Yung kanyang width, nag-increase ng 12. So, this is x plus 12 now. Yung kanyang height, nabawasan ng 4. So, this is x minus 4 now, but the length is also increased by 6. So, you have an x plus 6 na. You have an x plus 6 na length. Now, meron tayong um, old volume or the original volume. Volume ng cube. Tapos, yung, yung volume ng bago nating solid. Rectangular solid. Originally, the volume of the cube. You know, the formula for the volume of the cube is just s cube. Since ang side natin ay x. So, the volume of the cube is equivalent to x cube. Let's talk about the volume of the new or the modified cube or the prism. So, we have the volume of the prism is equal to the product of all the lengths of the dimensions. So in this case, we have x minus 4, that's the height, times x plus 6, that is the length, and times x plus 12. That will be the, the width. Okay, so let's simplify this. Okay, so let's have some scratch work on this side. We expand that into. We have x minus 4 times x plus 6. Problem parenthesis. But we parenthesis here. We have x minus 4 plus 6. That's equivalent. Plus, this is minus 4x. Magkaka minus. Mag and then 6 times negative 4. 20. And then let's multiply this by n. We will x cubed plus x times 2x. That's 2x squared. Plus x times minus 24. That's minus. What else? Plus 24x and then minus 288. That will give us x cubed plus 14x squared. So to cancel na to. Minus 288. So this now is the expanded form ng bagong volume. So therefore, we have x cubed plus 14x squared minus 288. So this is the new volume according to the situation or to the problem. Kapag ginawa mo yung mga modifications mo, nagdagdag ka ng 6, nagdagdag ka ng 12, nagdecrease ka ng 4, the volume will be doubled. So yung original volume niya is is x cubed. Yung new volume is equivalent to twice of this. So, ibig sabihin, if you have x cubed plus 14x squared minus 28, this is the new volume. This is equivalent to twice of the original volume. So, let's further simplify this. Gawin natin, lipat natin yung 2x squared sa kabila. It will become negative. So, maging negative. 2x squared, x cubed, sorry. This is 2x cubed plus x cubed plus 14x squared minus 288 is equal to 0. Let's further simplify this. We will get negative x cubed plus 14x squared. 14x squared minus 288 equals 0. So we don't want to have a negative na first term. Hindi ko kung pwede. Pero pwede na. Um, by convention, ang gusto natin yung first term, positive yung kanyang coefficient. We will get x cubed. Let's multiply everything by negative 1. Minus 14x squared 
plus 288 is equal to zero. Now, this is now the, the, the equation, the polynomial equation that models our situation. And the next step for us is to solve for the value of x using any of the method that we learned before. Pending by factoring, pending by su super synthetic division. You can use any of the theorem that we know. But for this problem, let me pull out GeoGebra. Because see, GeoGebra can solve polynomial equations. Alright, for this case, we will be using GeoGebra um, in solving for the values of x. See, GeoGebra is in kulang yung kanyang font. Okay? And when you go to view, just activate CAS. CAS stands for Computer Algebra System. Dito sa view na to, you can evaluate, you can factor, you can expand, you can solve for the values of, values of x. Ito yung kailangan natin. So for this case, all you have to do is to plug in our equation. Let's type in or let's key in our equation here. We have x cubed, x cubed minus 14x squared plus 288 is equal to zero. There is our equation. Ito, pag gusto mo ng sakto yung sagot, ito naman kapag gusto mo decimal. So, let's just click this. Okay. So, the values of x are minus 4, positive 6, and 12. So, x equals minus 4, 6, and 12. x equals minus 4, x equals 6, and x equals 12. But in this case, since x is a length, hindi natin, hindi natin kailangan si minus 4. So, we have two solutions. Pwede daw 6, pwede daw 12. Okay. So let's check. So say for example, if x is equal to 6, then the volume of the cube is equal to 6 cubed. And this is equivalent to 216. Now, the new, the prism, the volume of the prism is equivalent to this one. Let's substitute 6. So if we substitute 6 here, 6 here, and then 6 here, then we were left with, what's that? 2, 2 times 12 times 18, which will give us 432. Ito bang bagong volume? Doble ba nito? Yes. 432 is equal to twice of 216. So, x equals 6 can be a solution. So, therefore, x equals 6 is a solution. Let's try x equals 12. So, kung 12 cube to, 12 cube, what's 12 cube? 1,000. 12 cube is 1,728. And now, let's replace 12 here. So, the lengths now are 12 minus 4, which is 8, 8 times 12 plus 6, that's 18. And 12 plus 12, that's 24. Let's check. 8 times 18 times 24. That's 3,456. Let's see whether this volume here is twice of this. 1728 times 2. Yeah, feeling ko, yes. It's 3,456. So therefore, therefore, let's go back. Ang tawag ang tanong dito ay find the length of the edge of the cube. Okay, so therefore, the length of the cube, let's go back. Ang tanong dito, find the length of the edge of a cube. So that's the question. So therefore, we have two solutions. We have x equals 6 and x equals 12. 